So I've recently found out about Alpha M, who's this male improvement channel, helps guys with their looks, their confidence. You know, a bit of it is telling guys some truth, what actually helps. Another bit of it is telling them what they want to hear. And a big bit of it is uh, selling them nonsense. I think I saw this guy selling like a $200 jump rope. I think it might have even been more than that some weeks ago. So let's see how much he sells out pertaining to his diet or if he actually has some decent advice to offer. You want to be on camera? Sure, let's do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> What's up, gentlemen? So, as <laughs> You're gonna take. I wouldn't take any advice from a guy wearing two earrings. That's just me. As I've said before, proper diet planning prevents poor diet performance. And so today, what I thought I'd do is actually show you what I eat in a day. All right. Um, but I'm also gonna show you sort of like how it starts because I mean, just earrings in general, right? Not like a good look. Today is Sunday, and every Sunday, my wife and I sort of prep the food for. What do you? What do you? What do you? You prep. I. Wait, you prep? I prep. You I'm prepping. Okay. I'm prepping. Okay. Today I'm prepping. I'm going to bring you along. I'm also going to show you what my day looks like in terms of my diet. But it all starts with Sunday prepping all the meat. So my diet is pretty boring. Um, I eat the same thing pretty much every day with the exception of my HelloFresh that we do like once a week where we'll actually make like three meals. HelloFresh is today's video sponsor. I'll tell you a little bit more about them later. But the bottom... I mean, not that great of a salesman to get started. Uh, first, he admits he doesn't actually prep his meals. Second, you know, he's not really selling the Hello Fresh too well. You know, I mean, come on, be like, hey, yeah, I, I have this stuff once a day. I love it. It's great. <laughs> Line is every Sunday I prep the meat that I'm going to be eating for the entire week. Let me show you the meats that I'm going to be grilling this week. I'm going to be having chicken legs, also about three pounds of salmon fillets, and then a pound of ground bison. Um, I like a variety. These all are prepped. They are ready to go on the grill. I'm also making a huge pot of pearled barley. I like to make- Is he watching my channel? I honestly have to go back and see if, uh, <laughs> I have to go back and see if he's ever eaten barley before. Look, look, I've honestly, I've just never seen someone else actually eating barley on, on a, any dietary regimen, let alone YouTube. So I, I'd be curious if he saw my barley stew and that type of stuff and started making it. Could just be a coincidence. That's probably what it is, but I've uh, I've seen one too many copycat coincidences on YouTube lately. Make like a grain every week, whether or not it's quinoa, wheat berries, or barley. Barley, let me grab that. Looks like this, right? You get it in the store, pretty much like where all the like the rice and things like that are. Now, the reason why I love barley is because it's super like low glycemic index, and it tastes like pretty much anything you season it with. Kind of use it like rice, but in my opinion, this has like more substance to it. It also is like crazy high in fiber. You boil it, you strain it, it's ready to rock. Pearl barley isn't that high in fiber because it's pearled. You know, glycemic index is irrelevant in the context of a meal that has fats, carbohydrates, and protein that's all going to digest around the same rate. The real concern would be if you have, you know, gut dysbiosis, microbiome imbalances, and you're consuming sugar in the meal. That's the only time where glycemic index might be relevant, which is actually for quite a bit of people. You know, most standard American dieters do have gut imbalances, and most standard American dieters consume a lot of sugar. So that's where they are damaging their bodies. In regards to the protein he's choosing, you can't really get much worse. That looks like farm salmon as well as conventional fatty chicken. Literally two omega-6 bombs that are laden with chemicals, pollutants, pesticides. I would, without doubt, 100% bet that this guy is taking you know, some type of HRT, testosterone replacement therapy, if he's eating this type of diet and he's displaying that type of energy. So when the barley's finished, this is what it looks like. So the meat and the barley will act as my foundation for most of my meals for the week. But like I said, three nights a week we will actually do HelloFresh. What do you want to have tonight? Pick it. So first he said that he does HelloFresh one day for three meals. Now he's saying he's doing HelloFresh three nights a week. So maybe the 
the Wi-Fi EMF in his house is uh, frying his brain a little bit. Check it out. I'm, co I'm cooking because the deal is all of these meals are like super quick. They're easy. They're fresh. They save you time. And honestly, I can do it. And I and, and which one? Let's go meatless. Let's do Mediterranean baked veggies with couscous. Ooh. There's no way I'm watching a three minute HelloFresh advertisement. Uh, we're skipping through that. And the main thing to understand here is these companies are astroturfing. Like, you know, astroturf, the fake grass. It normally takes you a couple months to grow a proper lawn. AstroTurf set up in one day. These companies had an established prior business with infrastructure, employees, product, whether it's Blue Apron, uh, Purple Carrot, what's the other one? Purple Carrot, HelloFresh. There's probably over a dozen of them right now that deliver meals to your door. And I would bet it's the same company just rebranding under different names to, to increase their sales. It's a, it's a great tactic, but it's kind of scummy because you know, you have this giant conglomerate business that just controls the entire market that's pretending to be a new fresh startup or a new thing or you're supporting a new company. No, it's the same people selling you the same crap at the same price and scamming everyone. So, you know, from a nutrition perspective, you know, he didn't mention organic throughout the day. He's never mentioned grass fed or high quality. And that meal is basically some quinoa, some asparagus, feta cheese, almonds, some seasoning, I guess the main concern here is that he's not really getting that much animal nutrition. The food isn't organic, so there's an agrochemical or a pesticide concern. Hypothetically, if everything in that dish was of the highest quality, it wouldn't be bad. Uh, you know, obviously, you want more animal foods. Obviously, you want to remove those chemicals. But that could be said about pretty much any meal. Quality solves the problem. This is incredible. But now what I'm actually going to do is tell you and show you exactly what I'm eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Gentlemen, good morning. It is officially Monday and the time is 8.45. I've been working now for about two hours. The only thing that I've consumed since 8 p.m. last night is a cup of black coffee, actually two cups of black coffee. Coffee might be one of the most damaging things that's accepted as okay to do every day. I mean, you literally need to destroy your adrenals with caffeine to get going in the morning. Uh, you know, what does that say about your diet? And as I said earlier, I would bet this guy is taking HRT testosterone replacement. I don't know if he said that before on his channel or if he's been honest that he takes it before, but if he's not, you know, it, it's very, very, very misleading when you're shooting yourself up with testosterone, you're drinking all this coffee, yet you're trying to pretend like your lifestyle is so healthy. When in reality, there's a lot of things you don't understand about health from removing negatives from the lifestyle, Wi-Fi, EMF, as well as the diet. 10.15, time to eat breakfast. All right, so in terms of what I eat for breakfast, today I'm going with a protein shake. Typically I will get into like ruts where I will eat like egg whites and oatmeal with a scoop of protein for like a month and then I'm like, oh, I'm kind of sick of this and then I go protein shake. Currently I am on a protein shake kick. I go with a third of a cup of ice. I also use almond milk. Almond milk is awesome because it's super like low calorie and honestly I think it's delicious. Protein powder. Today I'm going with peanut butter. One pack of sweetener. I have never counted my calories. I've always focused on the quality and the quantity of the food that I'm eating. <laughs> and I also know that, hey, if I look in the mirror and I look a little chubby or I hop on the scale and my weight's like going like this or it's going like that, I can pretty much adjust my calories according. Literally impossible. This, is this guy Sean? He just said he doesn't count calories. And then he says, I change the quantity of food and then I can adjust my calories accordingly. Oh my God. And he said that his food is high quality and he's pouring almond milk and protein powder. There's probably 50 chemicals in just those two foods alone to wing a healthy diet. If you're going out to eat like two, three times a day or like a few times a week. Now for me, my wife, we will go out tip or actually we've been ordering in typically on Friday and Saturday. We'll do like one meal where we're ordering out whether or not it's pizza or sushi or China. This guy's a walking contradiction. I don't know how anyone watches this guy. This is funny.
Chinese or whatever, uh, but it's a great way to sort of break the monotony of a diet, but also allow yourself a little freedom, a little flexibility in order to not be so super strict. The other thing that's helped is the HelloFresh. Breaks the monotony, but still the quality of the food is there. And also like we know the ingredients, we see it. It's not like a bunch of processed crap. And like the it's milk and honestly protein. super freaking delicious. Um, now what I'm gonna do is actually get a shower, come back out before I leave for work. I'm gonna make lunch, talk about that. All right, gentlemen, feeling fresh. Now let's make this fucking tool bag. This tool bag. Listen, I might be able to pull that look off because I'm some like Italian dude with slick back hair from New York, but there, there's no way this guy should be wearing that. <laughs> Lunch. I'm especially with those earrings. One of these salmon, barley, and let's do. Some carrots and some cashews. Scoop out about two cups of barley. And then I'm gonna have, let's see, one, probably do another one. I'm also gonna be adding a little seasoning, all right? I'm gonna be using Frank's Red Hot, a few little dashes of that. And then I also will throw a little sriracha on as well. One of the reasons why I have upgraded my container game to glass is because it's a lot healthier, a lot better when you heat it up and put it in the microwave, all right? Containers like this Tupperware <laughs> Okay, I'm not I'm not touching anymore on like the conventional food that's full of chemicals. You know, he's not talking about organic. He's using farm-raised salmon full of pollutants. Ba I mean, farm-raised salmon is one of the most poisonous foods you can consume. If you missed our uh, fish is toxic video, this guy's talking about plastic. Half the stuff you've showed today isn't plastic. The Hello Fresh, da da da, and you're using the microwave. You care about plastic, yet you're using the microwave. And though you know, you just put sriracha on it, which was coming from plastic. They're great if it's cold, but you should not, from what I understand, heat these up. I will also take some salted cashews. Cashews are my favorite nut, and so what I will do is get a little baggie and a, pla take, a plastic know, bag. Probably about that much what is that like half a cup <sighs> of cashews bad. they're salted they're delicious um some good fats and they're just a nice little snack and so, so oxidized omega-6 fats full of anti-nutrients are good fats only if you put them in plastic and inject your butt with testosterone later crunch after work i will also take about three carrots i love carrots and so typically each day i will bring a few carrots with me definitely wash these before you consume them and so this essentially is what i'm going to be eating for wash them with uh fluoridated chlorinated estrogen filled tap water my lunch now dinner let's talk about dinner dinner typically is going to be for me around 7 30 or 8 p.m i will also be using about a cup cup and a half of the barley but instead of the salmon i will cut the meat off of about four to possibly five legs depending on the size i'll cube them up and i will toss them in the barley i will also throw half an avocado and season with my dynamic duo the frank's red hot and the sriracha. Now for dessert, a little sugar-free Jello. All right, Jello is amazing because it tastes great. It also has like zero calories, and this is the perfect thing to satisfy my sweet tooth at the end of a day instead of like grabbing like a cake or a piece of candy. This stuff is amazing. Now during the day, if I'm hungry, if I want like a snack or I need something a little bit sweet, typically I will keep like protein bars around the office. I'll have half of one or I'll eat a full one depending on how hungry I am. But essentially, that is. Is my daily diet this is it this is my diet this is the reason why I am able to maintain a low body fat percentage lean muscle mass at the age of 44 44 exactly 44 clean living clean eating and T. Shanley gentlemen you're a liar is what you are and uh, that's actually the video there's only seven seconds left this whole thing is distasteful from the marketing to the contradictions to filming it in the first two hours of the day God, he said it was 10 30 a.m. And he's already done with his day of eating. Does this guy not have the time to do a legitimate day of eating? Is he too lazy to film it throughout the actual day? He woke up. He said he had some coffee. He just made the protein shake. Then he says, oh, this is my lunch. And then he talks about what he has for dinner. This isn't a day of eating. This is me telling you guys what I eat in a day after a half-assed HelloFresh advertisement. 
I, I don't know what's I don't really have anything to say. I mean, it's just discouraging. It's uh, uh, not a good look. So thank you guys for joining me today. Please make sure to drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And therefore, please check out frank defilecom to sign up for my newsletter to stay in touch, as well as check out all of my businesses that are not astroturfing that I actually worked for myself. I, I, that, that's a whole thing to get into. But thanks again for joining me, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow.